do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter circulation and in that we are studying topic types of organocytes now organocytes are type of wbc and they are little bit different than granulocytes let's study about them today if we talk about organocytes they are not the ones that contain amoeboid or cytoplasm or nucleus in nature they don't have such also the three different kinds of organocytes that are used are monocytes lymphocytes and blood platelets that are commonly visible in human blood if we talk about lymphocytes now lymphocytes are the t cells of the body they produce a high amount of antibodies inside the body these antibodies are the ones which are y in shaped and they trap bacteria or infection in their antigen binding site another one is your blood platelets now blood platelets are the one which increase or decrease in certain infections and they are very crucial for certain infections like dengue or malaria once the blood platelet count in your body decreases to drastic levels there are chances that one may even die types of granulocytes they are a type of wbc or white blood cells now the first kind is monocyte the second kind is lymphocytes and the third kind is blood platelets monocytes are made up of or they are made in the region of bone marrow with a nucleus that's kidney shaped whereas lymphocytes if we talk about they are produced in thymus the t cells of the body t lymphocytes b lymphocytes that are very associated in cancer detections t helper cells cytotoxic t cells b lymphocytes which are memory b cells the highest level of mechanism they basically form antibodies now anti when i say antibodies anti means against and when i say body it means against bacteria or against infection this antibodies basically have antigen binding region on them and then they trap the bacteria they trap the bacteria and try to kill it also take the help of phagocytic cells and other cells of the body and finally the blood platelets now blood platelets they are formed in bone marrow region and they release thromboplastin now thromboplastin is a very crucial component of blood clotting imagine a condition in which the blood producing component or the blood clotting component thromboplastin is produced in greater quantity don't you think so that the clotting mechanism in your body would be accelerated without a cut and that would lead to terrible conditions yes blood platelets increase or decrease is very fatal to life so students in this part of the chapter we did study about a granular site and i hope you all here are very clear with this concept thank you